Welcome to the Hematology series, a series of informative and short videos on hematology. In this video we will briefly be covering hemoglobin. A hemoglobin molecule is composed of four globin molecules with each having a heme group. Each hemoglobin molecule is able to take up four oxygen molecules. With the aid of the hemoglobin molecule, red cells transport oxygen from the lungs to tissue and carbon dioxide from tissue to the lungs. Hemoglobin therefore exists in two states, as oxyhemoglobin and deoxyhemoglobin. Dissociation of oxygen from hemoglobin depends on the concentration of 2,3-diphosphoglycerate, hydrogen ions, carbon dioxide and temperature. An increase in these factors, as seen in tissue, results in oxygen release from hemoglobin. Conversely, a decrease in these factors, as seen in the lungs, will result in the upload of oxygen by hemoglobin. Heme is a porphyrin consisting of four pyrrole rings, joined by methyl groups bound to a central ferrous ion. The ferrous ion binds to nitrogen ions of the four pyrrole rings and to two histidine residues. The space between these residues and ferrous ion ensures the attachment of oxygen. All cells in the body, most importantly the liver and red cell precursors, synthesize heme. Globins are single-chain polypeptides and their synthesis is genetically controlled. There are eight functional genes for globin synthesis, three on chromosome 16, five on chromosome 11. The four polypeptide chains comprising the hemoglobin molecule change during different stages of human development from embryo to fetus to adult. This process gives rise to different types of hemoglobin molecules, the different types of hemoglobin molecules found in the embryo are, GAWA1, Portland and GAWA2. In the fetus, hemoglobin F is found. Whereas in the adult, hemoglobin A, hemoglobin A2 and hemoglobin F are found. Thank you for watching.